another video. This is another day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't have to wake us up early this morning, but he did. And I am so glad he did. Allowing your girl another chance to get it right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thank you for a beautiful, glory, wonderful day that you have made, dear Lord, without us another chance to get it right. Dear Lord, we ask you to send your power, your love, your grace, and your mercy down on us, dear Lord. Dear Lord, keep your arm wrapped around us in a time like this, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we need you more now than we ever need and we cannot live without you, dear Lord. We know some people need you for something and others need you for something else. And you have, you know what they have need of. So we ask you to bless them anywhere that they have need of. I ask that as we discuss this word today, that you'll be a God in the mix, dear Lord. Dear Lord, give us a word from you on high. I ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and glory be to God. We're going to go over here and we're going to talk a little bit about don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. You know, we all go through life where we're worrying about something or we our children and that. It says worry weights a person down. Worry weighs a person down. Worry just work way down. They have you looking old full time. They have you looking sad all the time. It feels like weight is lifted on your shoulder. That somebody just got something to beat you down in the ground. Don't worry. And encourage worry chills a person up. It says worry wear a person down, but encourage your worry chill them up. So if you know somebody down, get them an encouraging word. Cheer them up where they down at. Oh, hallelujah, your Lord. Got my tea on hand. It's good. As, as, as a Proverbs 12 and 25. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. And thank him for all he has done. Philippians 4 and 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, you know, tell God about it. And then thank him for the things that he has already done. And the things that he's going to do. He know what you have need of for you even ask. So go to him. Tell him about it. Pray about it. Pray about it. Don't worry about it. And when you pray about it, leave it alone. No God done took care of it. All right. It said, don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring its own worry. Matthew 6 and 34. We're always worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow I got to do this. Next week I'm going over here. Going on vacation. Then I got to, uh, to see how I'm going to do this. And how I'm going to do this. Don't worry about the things of tomorrow. All you do is take care of the things of the day. Worry about the day that you're in. That God have blessed you. And do all you can. Why you can. Why you in that day. Because tomorrow is not promised to us. So why worry about the things of tomorrow. When we don't even know what we're going to live to see tomorrow. So much is going on now. A lot of us going on to be with the Lord. He come getting his children. And ain't nothing we can do about it. But we want to be ready when he come and get us. It ain't nothing for us to sit back and worry about what's going to happen over here or what's going to happen over there. We worry about our children. We just worry about everything. God took care of us. He taking care of us. So he going to take care of our children. He going to take care of our sisters. He going to take care of our brother. He going to take care of our husband. He going to take care of your wife. He going to do all them things. So worrying about it. Ain't going to help at all. Pray about it. Don't worry about what tomorrow going to bring. Because tomorrow got its own problem. It said, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my right, just right hand. 
That is Isaiah, Isaiah 41 and 10. He done told us don't be dismayed. Fear not the things of the world. He said he going to strengthen us. He going to keep us with his righteous hand. He going to lift us up. He telling us this. You read it. If he said it, I believe it. And it is so. And it's done. All right. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. Don't worry about them. You ain't worry about the wicked folks because they, they soon shall pass away. It says, those who do wrong for like grass, they soon fade away. Grass going to fade away, get brown after a while. It ain't going to have no more. Uh, like spring flowers, they soon wizard. Psalm 37, 1 and 2. You know, like flowers, they wizard. They die, they die off. You know, we all should be I mean, thinking about one thing, that our Father, our, I mean, getting to heaven to be with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gone to prepare a place for us, and we need to be getting it together and not worrying about all this stuff. We need to keep each other lifted up in prayer, giving encouraging word that saying it's going to be all right. God's screening us to do that. And people wonder, when you're going through trials and tribulations, how can you be so jolly and still smile when you, you don't lost a loved one or, or a child or your husband or your husband or lost a wife and, you know, brother and your sister and your mom and your dad. How can you still smile when they gone on? They gone to be with the Lord. He done came back and got his children. This is not our home. So he going to come get us. So how? Why would I worry about anything? And he said, he already got me. He strengthens me. You know, he don't, He said, don't worry about tomorrow. So I know he got me. Everything is going to be all right. Be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Long as I get Jesus in my life. Everything is going to be all right. Long as I got Jesus in my life, everything is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Yes, it is be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. My sister used to sing that song. I love to hear her sing that song. Long as you got Jesus in your life, everything is going to be all right. If you don't know him and you don't have him, you need to get to know him. And how do you get to know him? Through the word of God. His word is true. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus in my life. Everything is going to be, be all right. It said, therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life. What you will eat or what you will drink. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. The birds eat everything. They fly out. People going to feed them or they going to find them something to eat. Uh, look at the birds. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather in two barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Are you not or more valuable than they? He asked you a question. Are you more valuable than they? To the Lord, yes, we are his children. Oh, hallelujah. He's our father. It says, that's Matthew 6, 25 and 26. It said, let not your heart be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let it be troubled. Why? Believe in God. This is Jesus talking. Believe also in me. Because you look around in his father's house, he said there are many 
mansions. When you leave here, this world is not our home. He got many mansions for us. So why we got the word? We belongs to him. Oh, hallelujah. That's John 14 and 1. Just read the whole chapter. And I'm going to go down here and read a little instrument. It says, all of us have experienced worry, some intention that we felt like our lives were hanging by a mere thread. We don't feel like that. I have felt like that. I have felt like that. I ain't had nobody. I was all alone. And I don't know this. And I don't know that. And you, you know you all. I'm not there yet. I'm still scribing. Trying to get them. This word is for me. Oh hallelujah Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. For grace and mercy. And it say that <clears throat> we feel like mere thread, hang from thread. Usually most of the things we worry about don't even happen. We worry about sometimes people breaking in our house at night, especially with women we living alone. But you know that God protects you when the thief trying to come and break in your house. God got you. You can't worry about all that. God got you. Lock your doors. Pray to the Lord to cover you. And, uh, and pack. Cause, uh, I'm a packing mom, you know, just to defend myself. You know, you come in there, you, and, and, and by wake up, you're not getting out. So just saying that, not a violent person, but just taking care of myself. God, take care of us all. It says, <clears throat> but unfortunately, worry become a bad habit that steals your joy. When you worry, you ain't got no joy. Joy, joy, God, great joy. Joy, joy, down in my soul. Sweet, beautiful, unveilable joy. Oh, joy down in my soul. Got joy down in my soul. And the only thing that can give you that joy is Jesus. I know I about messed up some of the words in there. Forgive me, y'all. But uh, you got to have that joy. It takes away from your joy and everything when you worry about stuff. You know, it steals your joy. Do you believe in, that Christ is feeling fully in control? You got to believe that Christ is in control of my life, no matter what I see, no matter what I have to go through. God already got it. And I can't worry about what's going on because he's already fixed it for me. Jesus, he will fix it. For you and me, oh, he knows just what, just what to do. Ooh, whenever, ever you pray, just let God have his way. I know Jesus will fix it, fix it for you. And me, he'll fix it. Oh, yes, don't worry about it. He will fix it. God is fully in control. That he has all power in heaven and earth. And is present in the church. Trust him to take care of you. He'll take care of you. God I mean, give your worries to him and count your blessings. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, I thank you, Jesus, for taking care of me, taking care of you. Trust him and never doubt that God will make everything all right. 
Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. And I was reading this out of the Pocket Bible Devotion for Wendy's. So, just leave it alone. God will take care of it. He will provide for us, regardless of what we're going through. Regardless of how we lose loved one, regardless of how stressed out that when we can't pay our bills and things, pray and get, turn it on over to the Lord. He'll work it out. Oh, yeah, Jesus, Jesus will work it out. If you let it, if you let it, he can work it out. He will work it out if you let him work it out. You wonder how you're going to pay your bill. He'll work it out. He will work it out. Now, I ain't came to make this video long. I pray that you all will have uh, having a good day. I thank you, all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to me, JoJo in the game. We welcome you with open arms. Welcome. We pray that this channel will help you and will give you some kind of comfort in no matter what you're going through. And then you may can bring some love and comfort to us. Put it in the comment when you see stuff, what you done been through, and tell us it's going to be all right. So when we read it, you may be inspiration to us. Never can tell. We welcome you. Good criticism. We welcome good nourishment. We welcome anything. We are one and we are doing this together to help one another out. And to my old subscriber, I love you. God loves you more. And we just want to build and grow a relationship with God where we don't have to worry about this and worry about that because my father, our father, got us. He got us. He knows all about us and he will take care of us and you. No problem too hard for God to solve. Turn it over to him. Don't worry about this because don't you worry about a thing because God got it. And with that being said, Jesus loves you so, so much and so do I. And with that being said again, I will see you on the next video. And I am out of here.